I was having my quiet time with the Lord and for the past few days, I keep getting this very clear and consistent message and it's about arising, okay? Many of you guys are actually called into very creative spaces. Some of you guys are like actually called into secular spaces, right? And you're called into those spaces to be a light, okay? To be a light of the gospel. And this is biblical. This is not something that is unbiblical. When you read about Joseph, when you read about Esther, when you read about Daniel, these were people of God, okay? That God had actually placed in secular environments in order to bring about change in those environments, in order to be a light in those environments, and even in order to deliver people in those environments okay go read about queen esther god chose her to be a queen to a pagan kingdom so that she might bring deliverance to her people okay when you read about daniel uh daniel was chosen to be um basically within the government okay working within the government of babylon of babylon and through his work and through his ministry for god he was actually called to to bring light and he did bring light he brought light to to the kingdom of babylon and he brought light within the government structure um and then joseph again joseph was called by god to um have a high position in the kingdom of egypt a very pagan kingdom okay um and he was called to be second to pharaoh so that he would have influence and save many people's lives there's always a consistent message when it comes to um the people that god calls to these certain spaces okay so some of you guys actually have like creative gift i don't know if it's it's screenwriting or writing plays or making music or making series or making movies and some of you even have dreams in your heart that like i want to make this series or you know for god to, to bring glory to god or i want to write this music i want to write this song i want to do this a lot of times that is a call from the Lord, okay? Um, please don't be deceived into thinking that God cannot call somebody into a secular space to be a light in that space. Now, this is a very specific calling. It's not for everybody, okay? But many of you guys who have this, this thing like in your soul or in your stomach, like you know, like, no, I'm supposed to be writing this thing or I'm supposed to be, you know, um, writing this play or writing this screenplay or, or you know, writing this movie or this series um, or this, this song because it will bring glory to God. Understand that God can call us into different Different places stop thinking that ministry has to look traditional like it has to look like just preaching you know in a church it doesn't have to look like that okay again the examples they gave you of joseph esther daniel their ministries were ministries that were given to them by god but they didn't look like ordinary typical ministry right so this is a honestly a prophetic calling to go back into the secret place and pray and begin to ask god to confirm your calling to reveal your calling to you so that you can begin to move forward and take the practical steps that you need to take if you know god has called you to go to school you need to start applying to whatever school god has called you to if you know god has called you to write a screenplay you need to sit down and start writing if you know god has called you to make music you need to sit down and start to make music whatever it is now is the time okay now is the time because time is running short all right and um God needs us to all strategically be in the places that we have been called to be, to be a light in those places. It's actually a very strategic thing, okay? It's strategic for God to put you in a secular environment because he wants you to be a light in that secular environment. Where there is darkness, he wants you to bring light, all right? So this is a very serious calling. This is a very serious message. And um, I just wanna pray, okay? So we can begin to activate the things God has called us into. So God, I just pray in the name of Jesus Christ for everybody under the sound of my voice. I pray, God, in Jesus' name that you would be to activate people's calling in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you would lead everybody um, to your, your, your place, Father God, to the, to the secret place, to the quiet place, Father God, and that in the quiet place, you would reveal to them their giftings and their callings and their ministries, Father God. And I pray, Lord, that they would begin to arise in those callings, arise in those giftings, arise in those ministries in the name of Jesus Christ for your glory and for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I pray, Lord, that you would strategically place them in the environments, in the fields that you have called them to, God, that they may be a light in those fields in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, that they would do great and mighty and bold exploits for your name, Lord. I pray now for a fire to begin to arise in them in Jesus' name, for a fire to begin to arise in the name of Jesus, and for them to go and walk forth boldly into their callings, Lord, for the glory of the gospel, that many people across the earth would hear the gospel through these different mediums that you've called us to, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.